recently, very recently actually, a young African-American man named Ralph in Texas reached out to the Tyra Show. And he reached out with a pretty disturbing email. He wrote that he's been called a thief, and that he's been called a drug dealer, and even the N-word to his face. And Ralph told us that as desperate as he is to get away from these hateful words, he cannot get away from them because they're coming from somebody that he shares four walls with, his roommate. But Ralph isn't the only one who has someone racist in their life. Check this out. A typical Saturday in New York, we taped different people just going about their business, working, running errands, spending time with their families. We set up a social experiment. We had people watch the video we shot to see what racial perceptions arise. Don't be afraid, talk freely, tell us what you think, your opinions. So we're gonna take a look at a clip and then you tell us what you think, all right? Honestly, it looks like the black guy might have stole something from the white man or did something that he didn't like. I'm black and I agree with you. Um, that's what it looks like to me. And basically when you see a white man chasing a black man, I'm sorry. A white man is not going to chase a black man for no reason. How do you and, know? What? That's racist I just against know your what own I know. race. I know what I see and I know what I know. But it's more typical in my experience that a black guy is going to steal from you than a black guy is going to shoot you. What experience is that? Have you ever been gunpoint by a black man? Yes, I have. Really? Yes. Personally, I have. When I walk past a black guy, then I, after I pass him, I make sure I still have my wallet. And that's no joke. And you, this is that's also coming from true. a person who also does not have any black friends. I don't so have people from my the, the black, black people, from people black. from my hometown don't try to be white people's friends either. All right, uh, if you if you sit here and because you know we're the crackers, we're, we're the honkies, you know, and uh, that's that's straight up the truth. That's what you label yourself. No, that's what no. they label me. If you call me a, I'm gonna punch you right in your head. I'm gonna punch your head off. Well, I've done it. You've done it. I've done it to people. Yeah. You wouldn't do it to me. Well, you call someone a. Yes, I have. I'm from Texas, all right? You think about that. We still have clan meetings exactly. within 30 miles from where I'm from. I'm in Dallas now, all right? Arkansas. All right, no, no. Saying I'm, not, I'm not saying I'm justifying anything. My dad has been so racist from the time I was little. I've been brought up that way. Brittany, all right, how do you feel about black men? Do you, do you think we're all the same? Kind of, because the only reason why I think that is because I haven't met one that isn't like that. Black guys are cocky. They're cocky? They try to act like players. And That's most of them, players. they scare the living daylights out of me sometimes. Do I scare you? No. No. From the way I was raised, I've always been taught that they, they can hurt you, you know? Like, it's, it scares me. I watch my news every night, and it's always some black guy up in Cincinnati shooting somebody else or robbing somebody. And I don't mean to be scared of them, you know? It just, that's my first instinct. Christian, would you say, are you afraid of black people? No. I'm afraid of what they could do, but no. So as we see, people had a lot to say with what we just saw, and we have them all here. Everybody that you saw on that tape is actually here today. But we're going to start with Ralph and his college roommate, Christian. Okay, so Ralph, you wrote that letter to the Tyra Show, um, kind of like a cry for help, not really knowing what to do. Um, tell me uh, when this, the, the, these comments started from Christian. Probably the second day he moved in. The second day? Right. Wow. Okay, what was the first stuff that he started to say? The first thing he ever said to me mm -hmm. was, what's up, N-word? You know what I, you know, you know, do that. Okay, um, what, what made you say that to him, Christian, when you first met him? Um, actually, when I first met him, I didn't say a word, a word to him for the first day. I honestly thought that uh, he was going to be listening to rap music nonstop, and I thought he was a thief, probably a drug dealer. And... That, that was just my perspective on it. So you didn't say anything. So then the first yeah. things that you did say was the N-word. Yes, ma'am. And why, why was that? that? That was funny to me. I mean, uh, where I'm from, we say that to each other. Uh, like I said in the video, um, we refer to each other as the N-word, and then we turn around and laugh about it. They laugh about it. It's OK. You mean white guys to white guys? Uh, or white, white guys, guys to black, to black guys. guys. White guys to white guys. White guys it's to white funny. guys. But there's I mean, a difference, you know, when you're saying it because of, because of you thinking certain things. And you thought that he was a thief. And you thought that he was, you know. Well, Tell me about what happened on um, 
on Super Bowl, Ralph? I like the Super Bowl party at first, you know what I'm saying? This is how he met my friends. He like just bust in like, freeze, y'all under arrest, we're looking for a black guy. Majority of my friends are all black. So he's like, oh, we hit the lotto, you know what I'm saying, like that. And I was like, come on, man. First thing that came to my mind was like, there's about to be some physical problems going on, you know what I'm saying? Now, Christian, you say that it's just funny, but then you also say, but I'm from Texas and we have Ku Klux Klan, and so what is your view of black people? Um, I honestly thought they were thieves, probably drug dealers. Uh, generally, they don't have money. I mean, mm -hmm. from where I'm from, they don't. Uh, they might get out of high school, but nothing after that. And um, I know that you had some surprises when it came to Ralph. What was one of the surprises with Ralph? Actually, it, was, it surprised me that he didn't listen to much rap music, that he actually had uh, uh, his parents had set up him a college uh, fund or trust fund. And I don't see that. I don't, I, me personally, I had to work through college. I'm having to work through college. He has it handed to him. His parents actually set up you know, him some money, put back. And I was surprised by that. Why do you guys still live together if you have somebody that you live together, Ralph, that you feel is a racist? Uh, because probably I was like living there before he was, mm -hmm. and then I shouldn't have to be taken out of my comfort zone so he could, you know what I'm saying, no matter where I go, he's still going to think that way, and no matter where I go, I'm still majority, probably time going to hear it, so I shouldn't have to take myself out of my comfort zone and mm -hmm. to break my lease and probably get paired up with somebody who's just as he is. Mm -hmm. And Christian, why would you stay? In, uh, in, a, in a place where you, aren't, you, you, don't, you seem not to be co uh, comfortable around black people. Well, to be honest, uh, I moved down here with one of my best friends, and he is actually in the same apartment. There's four of us in the same apartment, and I didn't feel like I had to, had to leave. I honestly don't care what he thinks. You don't care what he thinks? No. Okay. So I know that the racism is not just um, to black people. Ralph, tell me what happened when you guys were um, out at a restaurant. Uh, at a restaurant, you know, he like just blurts out things and like one time we had uh, a Muslim or Arabian waiter, you know what I'm saying, like we, un I understand, everybody understood what he was saying, but you know, Christian, he was like, uh, what, huh? I don't, can you say it again like that? Come on now, it's a time mm -hmm. and place for everything. Now, and what did honestly, your mother have to say about you living with somebody that says the N-word to you and says these racist things to you? What does your mother have to say about you living with someone? Well, my lease? mother, she actually offered to, like, break my lease. She offered to pay for me to, like, leave and all that, but I told her I shouldn't have to do that. Okay. Um, I know someone has a comment for Christian. You can come on down. What do you have to say? Um, I heard you say that, like, a lot of things towards your roommate, but do you feel that way just towards black males, or do you feel that way towards, like, black women, too? Like, if you were to see me, would you label me a thief or, like... Anything like Well, that. from where I'm from, uh, women, black women don't hold themselves as high. Uh, generally, ghetto, I'm not going mean, to, ghetto women, you know, I don't know if you all know what I'm talking about, but uh, if you were to hold yourself as in stature of Tyra Banks, you know, um, business suits, but no, generally, yes, drug dealer or, or a wife or a girlfriend to a drug dealer, probably a lot of kids. You know what's so funny, Christian? If I close my eyes, I would think that you were black. There's oh, something yeah. about the tone of your voice and the, 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 the bass and the baritone because black is not just slang. Like there's like, there's features. We have certain physical features as well as like vocal cords. I know that sounds really strange, but when I close my eyes, I hear a black man. I know that you're probably like, oh Lord, but I do. What does that make you feel like with me saying that? Let me close it my eyes while you say It makes me feel like I need to change. Honestly, uh, but I don't know. It's kind of discriminating to me right now. Makes you angry? Yes. So saying the N-word and all that other stuff is not so bad, but when I said when I close my eyes I hear a black guy, that's, that's bad? To me, yes. We'll be right back. It's crazy, man.